if we look at the things that we're doing as cybersecurity professionals, we are monitoring our networks. We are looking at policy and law. We are understanding how to secure those boxes and the settings we have to put on them to make them secure. We are looking at how we secure the infrastructure, how we secure the bigger WANs, how we secure the internet itself. There are lots of professionals that do this kind of thing. And it's important to look and divide up the different actions that these people have to take. We need to understand threat intelligence. What's threat intelligence? Does anyone know what threat intelligence is? That's a really windy road to go down. But if you just look at threat intelligence as how these attacks, who, who would attack your network, what actions they would take to do that, and how vulnerable your network is to those attacks, what the risk is for, for those attacks. This is the most complicated problem we have because we have that problem of DHS, do you share all of the information of cyber attacks throughout the United States with the general public? No, you don't. Do you do it with the grocery store? No, you don't. Or the farmer? No, you don't. With the bank and the card processor and the credit card company? Kind of, sort of, when you want to. Right? So threat intelligence is hard. But can we buy it? Yep. Is it good? Can we curate it? Can we figure it out ourselves? Yes. Can we understand what's happening in attacks and home, bake it at home? Is the intelligence that comes from the attacks that happen on your network valuable? Absolutely understanding the attacks on your new own network and understanding and storing that threat intelligence, internal threat intelligence, is important. So yet another function that our cybersecurity team is going to have to do. Mr. Grocery Store, do you have a threat intelligence analyst? No. no. That's really expensive because how much do you spend on cybersecurity each year? Small percentage. 75K. What is that bias? Do you have a CISO? No. Do you have a three college interns? Yeah. So life can be kind of scary when that's what you're working with. We also have to be able to detect. We talked about detection a little bit. We talked about MSSPs and SOCs. How much does it cost to monitor a decent sized network? Say you have 65 servers a cloud presence, you have two websites, about $2 million. Do you spend $2 million on detection on your network? No, can't afford that. So it's complicated. Vulnerability management. So if we're saying that there are attacks that are opportunistic, that attack us just because we're vulnerable, do we make sure that those vulnerabilities are taken care of? How many people would it take to do vulnerability management on the grocery store's network? Maybe three? What do three people cost? About a million dollars? Do you have a million dollars to spend on vulnerability management? And that's not even including the tools, right? Right. So, so far, we have a threat intelligence analyst, a SOC, a vulnerability management person that we can't afford. Let's talk about remediation a minute. You have had this attack. It is pervasive throughout all of what you're connected to. Do you have IT personnel who can remediate the problem, re-image the machines, replace all of the servers, talk to all the people you're connected to, and report back to DHS that you're clean now? So you're going to need your lawyer a lot, <laughs> right? So if you think about it, this is a really hard problem. And this is a really interesting career field 
because it's a really broad career field with lots of different functions and lots of different jobs. It's not just the guy that reads the packet. It's not just the guy that can scan a network. It's not just the guy that can write in Python. It's not just the lawyer. It is a PR firm. It is a policy person. It is the government liaison. There are many functions in cybersecurity. And who would think that that is cybersecurity? Did you all think that was cybersecurity? You thought that was firewalls and IDS signatures, right? It's much more complex. And we didn't even talk about that. I didn't even talk about your internet connection. Mm -hmm.